We're here near the bottom of the North Coast Trail in the Botanic Gardens and uh, the plant behind me is the California Bay. Uh, this is an extremely aromatic plant. I can just, I'm almost overwhelmed with the fragrance right now. Um, interestingly, uh, many people find it very pleasant, uh, but there are quite a few people who really don't like the aroma of this plant. Um, uh, on some days you can smell it from uh, about 10, 20 yards away as, as you approach. Uh, California Bay is found in several different plant communities across the state, uh, stretching all the way up to Oregon and down uh, into uh, even northern Baja. Usually it's found in um, uh, canyon, bo canyon bottoms or uh, valleys. Um, it will take uh, more moisture than a lot of the California natives, uh, a lot of the, the chaparral and sage scrub uh, natives. Um, the, the plant uh, is typically a large shrub, um, but in uh, moister, deeper soils, it can also uh, become very tree-like. And there's really a couple of uh, specimens that we have here in uh, the gardens that demonstrate that. So this one, obviously about, uh, oh, maybe uh, uh, seven feet high or so, um, multi-trunked, uh, uh, large shrub, doesn't look tree-like at all. And then if we can pan over um, to this uh, uh, other one that's just uh, 15, 20 yards away, we can see that it is a large tree. Out in its nav native habitat, in ideal conditions, um, it can be a, a tree of up to 100 feet. It will uh, flower in uh, late winter, and, uh, or perhaps midwinter, it will get uh, pale yellow flowers, and following the flowers are a fruit um, uh, that uh, that is edible. The the aromatic nature of the bay um, comes from oils with within the leaves, and uh, the California Bay can be used as a substitute uh, for bay leaf in the kitchen. It's much more potent. Uh, so, uh, most people recommend that you would only use about half to a quarter as much uh, when adjusting your recipes.